Hey guys, um, assuming you can probably see all the rain on the windows and stuff, but um, yeah, since the last update, uh, which was uh, day two after yesterday, I think, Wednesday, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, yesterday, so we're on day three, and about two hours after the video yesterday, it has been constant rain supposed to start that contract Friday and tomorrow we're supposed to get thunderstorms Friday we're supposed to get thunderstorms and what I've noticed in the last two months is when we get rain the phone calls disappear when it gets nice and hot and people are out in their yards obviously people are looking at their trees and they're calling so yeah it's been a slow 24 hours for the last day or a day and a half since the last update um, I got one call this morning for a quote that's it <coughs> but um, you know just going out for a drive to the lake you gotta stay relaxed right at first I wanted to get stressed out you know like oh shit the phone I only got one call for a quote but you know what guys this is normal I, I should know better like I said I've been going about two months now I've been since I started advertising work and doing jobs and it's only day three since I left my day job delivering pizzas I gotta say guys um, you gotta stay level headed keep calm and you just realize that the money is gonna come in you just you know enjoy enjoy the time off while you have it because Rather than sitting there stressing, thinking, oh shit, I'm going to be broke, I'm not going to get bills, blah, 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 blah. You're sitting there wasting time. You could be figuring shit out for your company. You can be out dropping business cards off at doors with dead trees in their yards, you know, canvassing, right? There's a whole bunch of shit you could be doing rather than wasting your time sitting there stressing out about not making money. So I went out canvassing today and then dropped off some cards and, you know spent the day not stressing that I didn't I only got one quote today and you know weather depending for Friday but you know that's part of this industry guys it's uh, very weather dependent you're just don't piss all your money away when you have a really good week you know so you know I still got a couple grand on me right now so that really helps I can you know obviously if you're coming down near flat broke it's gonna be a lot more stressful and you're like oh yeah that's easy for you to say Derek you got fucking three grand in the bank but thing is guys I would be the same level-headed dude you see in this video right now if I had 400 in the bank you know why you're wasting time stressing out when you can be getting shit done for your company or at the very least enjoy the fucking couple days you got off you know why as soon as you're done stressing out, wasting your time, you're going to be phone ringing off the hook. You'll see. Just watch. It's going to happen. Phone's going to be ringing off the hook in the next five to six weeks. I'm going to be working straight through all of it. So anyway, back to the main point of this. If you don't get calls, the weather sucks, whatever. you got a couple days where you're not out giving quotes and you're not doing work. Don't stress out. Don't freak out about bills. You know, spend that time finding yourself more work go out canvassing dropping cards off work on advertising go blast the shit out of your social media you know what i mean there's just so much better thing or like i said at the very least relax enjoy that couple days off that you actually have to yourself because as soon as that weather's gone guys or you know it's just a slow weekend say it's a long weekend and everybody's out camping not looking at their yards that's time that you could be using for yourself guys because I promise you after you're done with those couple days it's gonna be back to steady steady work but um yeah here I am I'm, I'm going out for a cruise to the lake enjoying myself before I go to bed guys um, today is a whole nother day it's supposed to be a storm I got a whole bunch of paperwork I can catch up on there's a lot of shit I can do um, there's a few guys I take quotes on, they're interested, um, you know, they're kind of trying to make their mind up whether they would need to do it right now or they want to wait till fall, you know, maybe 
you, you're, you're always going to have a few of those guys around. Um, you know, maybe call them up. Maybe if I don't get any more quotes tomorrow as well, I'll call one of them up and say, you know, if you want to move that job forward, I, I got a slow week. I can push you in and save you 75 bucks. You know, whatever, whatever the case is. If it's a small job, you know, 75 bucks. If it's a three, four thousand dollar job, tell them you can save them a couple hundred dollars. Um, you know, because that couple hundred dollars, yeah, you're taking a loss at your profit, but you know what? What's more of a loss? Getting that job out of the way, losing 300 in profit, but still gaining that day? Or sitting there doing fuck all, leaving that guy to have to deal with later on in the season, right? Get him done. Take the profit you're going to get off that job. He's out of the way. You've actually accomplished something with that day now. And then you know what? By the time you're done that, your phone will be ringing again. And if not, get out there and canvas, guys. You know, when you weren't a business owner, what did you do when you're out of money, out of work? You went out every day dropping resumes off. You went out and found a job. This is no different working for yourself, guys. Working for yourself the only difference is rather than handing out resumes, you're going out and you're canvassing, you're handing out business cards. Instead of looking for a job and looking for someone to hire you as an employee, you're going out and you're finding yourself work where you're going to make all the money and all the profits. So, you know what I mean? If you can do it as an employee, you can do it as a self-employed entrepreneur. You go out there and find yourself the damn work. Don't sit there and stress. Don't waste your time crying about why your phone's not ringing either enjoy that day off call some guys up that are fucking undecided if they want to get their job done push them forward and do it or go out there and canvas it's no different than applying for jobs if you don't have work go hand some damn business cards out you will get a call all right i'm starting to rant now but anyway guys whole point i'm telling you guys what i do how to stay level-headed when you get a couple slow days, you're only doing a few quotes, how to, you know, a better way to make use of that time rather than just sit there and stress out about how money's not rolling in. There's a lot of productive things you can do with those days. And like I said, at the least, take a day off and enjoy it. Don't waste it stressing out. All right, guys, till the next video. Hope I didn't rant too much. I think I'm just gonna title this video for you guys, slow days shitty weather something along that line but yeah this is basically my thoughts on slow days and when the weather just sucks and you're not getting calls and how to keep level headed and how to make the best of that time all right guys i'll see you in the next video um like i said again this is a pretty early video so i'll mention it one more time um i when I was starting this company, the only thing I could find on YouTube that was not how to make a million fucking dollars in a month, which is bullshit. I mean, some people can do it, whatever, but this is more practical. As far as starting a business basically from nothing with no loans from the ground up, funding it with a part-time, full-time, regular fucking day job, something anybody can do, not become a millionaire in a month the only thing I could find was Keith Kalfas and a couple other guys but I uh, I'm not gonna get into them they're just ridiculous Kalfas is all right you know he, I feel like for five or six years in he could be doing a little more successful making a little more profit you know maybe have some more equipment multiple crews yada 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 anyway still a good guy I, you know he's doing all right he's you know at least his company hasn't caved you gotta give him that he's still making money he's happy with himself happy with his company so fair enough and i'll still I'll watch his videos and i still support him but anyway back to the main subject of this all i could find online for something the average joe could start a company with and give you an idea an inside look on what it's like to do it what you go through how to quote you know i, I learned my last i'll make another video about my first quotes anyway all i could find was him so and there's nothing other than outside of landscaping and he does window cleaning too actually anyway so i'm starting this channel so other guys out there that want to become an entrepreneur whether it be tree business or anything similar that you could probably relate to this it's somewhat relatable to well there's a deer there i got my hunting rifle in the back too it's out of season though and it's night but anyway yeah 
Um, this is basically just a channel that pretty much like Keith Kalfas is, but you know, I plan on growing my company a lot faster. Hi I'm already hiring full-time employees. I'm only two months in to actually running the company. Um, I want to get things moving a lot faster, really grow the company, really scale it. And you know, I've been investing really fast into equipment. I'm really growing this company and uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys another perspective. You know, another guy doing it uh, so that there's more videos to watch than just Calphus and you know, a different scenario. You might see me get broke, you'll see me go up, you'll see me acquire equipment, make mistakes, learn. Basically going to be the same deal, but hopefully I'll scale faster. Hopefully I'll show a little more into the Arbor Tree Care sector, which is obviously a lot higher profiting. Uh, me, myself, I have eight years of experience in uh, tree climbing and arbor work. Um, you know, that's not something everybody has, so obviously that's going to be a bit of a um, problem for some of you, uh, which is why, you know, you could take what you learn from this and use it in landscaping maybe. Um, you could even hire arborists, but I feel like you need to be passionate about tree climbing and have lots of years of experience like myself. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be my channel guys follow it if you want to see how this goes it's basically gonna be starting a company from the ground up um, another perspective outside of Keith Kalfas and yeah um, I would love for you guys to subscribe and follow and hopefully you guys will be successful in your business startup as well um, let's share some information share some failures and some success stories um, you know Connections and information and other people's stories is massive, you know. Don't learn from all of your own mistakes if you don't have to. So I will see you guys in future videos. I will let you know for sure how this job Friday goes. I now have my 2 million liability. I'm pretty much fully locked down on WCB coverage. I'm waiting on that. And then I just got to hear back from a guy for 1150 for a contract. And then I have another guy for 4200 on some pines he wants removed so I will let you guys know they were supposed to be solid deals but we have been waiting on WCB for almost 10 business days now so they may fall through because of the wait I hope I don't lose them we're gonna see what we can do to keep them and save them guys stay following me I'll keep you updated and hopefully we'll bang off those other contracts too guys all right I will see you in the next video